Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to another Superlative Radio vlog. Dylan Stone here, and uh, we're down at uh, Anthony's Cove. And as you can see behind me, all the beautiful beach scenery and everything else, it's just uh, absolutely immaculate. It's beautiful here. It's just, it, it's gorgeous. It's really, it, it's... It's something I'm not used to in a lot of cases. Of course, as I've always said, being born and raised in Montreal, you know, coming down here and seeing the, the beautiful scenery is just breathtaking. You know, all over New Brunswick. I mean, you saw some of the stuff we did last year in St. Andrews and some of the stuff around that the other vlogs that you see here on Superlative Radio. I mean, just go down and take a look at some of the other vlogs from last year. And you can see the difference of some of the places that we've gone and shot these vlogs. It's just really beautiful. Those of you uh, watching uh, in the States, uh, I just want to tell you, uh, first off, uh, my heart goes out to you guys. Um, you know, I, I mentioned on the last vlog about that whole protesting thing going on and all the, the stuff that I, I just want to, you know, I send all my best wishes out to all the Americans watching. Uh, just stay strong, guys. Just, you know, and I do believe that you should fight for your rights to to be taken seriously and taken just don't let the system crush you to all my to all my black friends to all my mexican friends to every you know different ethnicity to all my ethnicities all my friends my heart's with you no matter what i have you know everybody that knows me knows i have no issues with anybody as long as you're a good person I'm there and uh, just stay strong guys and do it so uh, uh, you know everybody at Superlative Radio is with you. Now um, speaking of that also of course I want to just talk a little bit about this whole COVID-19 thing. I know you guys have been having it really rough down in the States and uh, you know even here in Canada there's the, you know with Montreal and Toronto and some of the bigger cities are really having a hard time with it as well. We've been very lucky here in New Brunswick and uh, especially in St. John and the areas around here, we've been really lucky. We've had one death uh, from COVID-19. We've had a few people that have had it and whatever, but they've recovered. Uh, we're, we're really lucky. But the rest of you, you know, Montreal, Toronto, the States, and just, you know, it, it's... I know that it's hard and I know that it's difficult in this situation to be stuck in the house and not being able to do a lot of things. It makes it difficult, I know. You have to look at, or try to look at the bigger picture. If, if we can come together and stop the virus from spreading and, and you know, killing more people and getting more people sick, if, if it takes staying at home and doing what we're doing, then that's the smarter move. Now, I read something, I think it was yesterday or the day before, that kind of made me think as well, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Someone had said that with a virus, the problem is the fact that we don't have any resistance to it. They said, now it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a radical thought, but I mean, I follow the logic to the end of it. I, don't, I can't remember who it was that said it. I didn't mark down the, the thing, but he had said, don't close things, don't do it, let it all run, let it go. And those that catch the virus and die from it is just a, a symptom of the whole problem. Because eventually, the human race will develop resistance to the virus. But you've got to get through the bad part to get to the good part. And I was kind of like, wow, that's a high price to pay. You know, letting, just leaving it go and letting people die from it. And do it. But I mean, I understand what he's saying. Of course, the, you know, our generations later will have got a resistance to it you know do we have to pay by deaths and sickness and whatever well i mean that would be the only way to do it you know that's the other side of that coin you know letting that happen and like i said i mean i i understand his thinking and what he's saying and it i mean really it, it makes sense but to me that would be too high a price to pay to you know but then again you know, look at the world wars. People went and fought and died so that we have what we have. So it's the same thing, just in a different situation. I don't know. Do you think that's a better idea? 
Do you, would would you think that would be a better way to do it? Just let it run its course and let it kill the people that it's going to kill and sick, you know, make the people sick that it's going to make sick, so that our future generations have the resistance to this COVID nineteen. Would you think that's a way to do it? Personally, maybe I'm just chicken shit. I don't know. I, I just don't think that that would be the answer that I'd want to take. Or maybe I'm just too sensitive, or maybe I'm too, you know, I, I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know if you think that would be a road that you would want to take. Are you looking ahead that far that you would prefer your future generations to have the resistance than what we're doing now? So that it doesn't come back again. Well, I mean, it's good. they say it's going to come back again in, what, September? I think they're saying the second wave is going to hit in September. And... Uh, they say it's going to be worse than the first one. So, I don't know. What do you think? You want to just let it run wild in September and let it go and see what happens? Down below. I want to know what you think. Send me your comments. Tell us what you think. Next vlog we do, we'll make we'll mention your comments. We'll talk about it and go that route. All right? Subscribe. Hit the button. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. We would really like to know what you think. All right? Let us know. Down below. All right. In the meantime... We'll see you guys soon with another Superlative Radio vlog. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime. And when you do, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other because that's the way it's supposed to be.